Yo, what up? This is Briggs. My name is Trials. We are AB Original, and you are watching the AU Review, and you're currently looking at us. Sucker. Boys, welcome to Big Sound. Thank you. Cool. Did you just get to Brisbane today, or? I've been here since Tuesday. Oh, yeah, but yesterday. Right. How are you feeling then? Sleepy. Yeah. As a general rule, yeah, I, I, yeah, just, yeah, general. just like I, just, I, I feel, I, I feel sleepy. sleepy. I feel sleepy all the time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have you been able to see much music, or is it? I've seen birds. What birds? That was a sick show last night. It was real sick. Um, and you seen Luke Millian? Yeah, I went to see Luke afterwards. Yep. I was too yeah. sleepy to see Luke. Yeah, but he's really good. Yeah. Yeah, he's playing again tonight, so we're gonna get him. Yeah, cool. Which is Stranger Things remix crush. That, that show took over my life yeah, for, for too long. Yeah, for <laughs> like two long. days, I killed yeah. it. <laughs> I'm like, I want to rewatch it, but yeah. maybe later. Season two, though, coming. I know. Mad. I can't wait. Can't wait. Um, obviously, your spot on the program at Big Sound this year is, is one that so many people are keen to see. Like the keynote mm. this afternoon is obviously a very um, highly anticipated one. Are people talking about it? Hmm? Mm. Fuck. Because <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, mm. uh, I was like, I, I, I said, I, <laughs> I was talking to my manager. I was like, you reckon you was gonna come and watch? And she's like, oh. <laughs> yeah, they like are. You're telling me this now. Yeah, because I, like, I, I, I was like, I was like, for real. <laughs> yeah, I haven't thought about it. It's best that I don't for my yeah, game games. Because like, yeah, yeah I, I don't, I don't really look at things like that far away. Yeah. Like until like today, and then it's on, and I'm like, all right. Yeah. And I asked my manager, "Hey, are people coming?" She's like, "Yeah." I'm yeah. Like, Jeez. Well, yeah, they will be. Um, it, it's really interesting, like the, these sorts of events, um, where it's you know, quote unquote, to network and to build those relationships because you do. There is so much. Um, to see in terms of the conference paneling and the keynotes but this one I feel is going to be one of those events that people are going to be like okay I, I want to be there and I was there like I feel like it's going to be one of those keynotes where they're like oh did you did you see AB original we were there for that um, you should have brushed that. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, 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 gonna, it's interesting because everything that you guys are doing it has generated a lot of conversation and it is one that needed to be had yeah do you think that delivering a keynote or indeed being kind of given this platform to talk about the not only the album but everything else do you think that that's something more people not really taking starting to take more seriously but do you think people are twigging on to the fact that you know this is fucking serious and this is what we're doing well, they definitely want us to explain ourselves because yeah. <laughs> we kicked a hive pretty fucking hard. Yeah. You know, with, with every song we've, we've dropped, especially January 26th, yeah. you know, like it, it's exactly what we say in a song. We're trying to start a big fucking conversation that's been going on for totally. ages. Yeah. You know? it's, it's one that will happen after us and way, way before us. So mm -hmm. it's good that we get to actually sit down with someone like the doc, who's a great facilitator yeah. and, and go through these things and, and, and literally discuss the message we're trying to get across. Yeah. Because I, I, I don't think anyone's come out and said, fuck Australia Day. Not like us. <laughs> Not in such a cool, catchy way. Yeah. <laughs> Not with it's such poetic. a hook. It's poetic. <laughs> Not with like such a hook. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it, again, like, as a taste of what the rest of this album is going to be like, it's a very strong one to lead with. Like, there's... <laughs> there's Every just, song... Every song we've released is a great representation of the album. Yep. Um, like, I, I was actually thinking about the record, because it's been done for, like, a, a month or a bit now, and mm -hmm. it's been, you know, fully wrapped up. And I was actually just thinking about it, and I was like... It, you know, it, it feels like, to me, um, the idea of it feels more like Gravediggers mm. or, you know, like, that kind of concept record. Mm because it's it's never been done in Australia like such a black centric mm -hmm. like not on this level no such a black centric unapologetic um, display mm -hmm. of of how we feel you know what I mean like mm. this is this is the reflection of two 
kind of young um, <laughs> indigenous male. <laughs> yeah. We use we use young very very loosely. <laughs> We're young compared to like George Burns. <laughs> <laughs> I mean like yeah. if you compare us to someone old or young <laughs> but like that's what this record feels like and each song could represent that record mm-hmm. you know reclaim Australia each song could represent that record by itself and just yeah. saying this is what the record's about yeah that's cool I mean is there any particular moment or track on the album that I suppose when you were at that stage where you were tying it up um was there a song that stood out to either of you individually or together where you thought, fuck yeah, this is something that really speaks to me? I mean, I guess they all well, do, me, but is there anyone in particular? There's a song There's a song on the record called Report to the Mist, which is kind of, um, it's about police brutality and mm-hmm. deaths in custody and, and a lot of things like that. And we wrote that song, that was one of the very first songs we wrote. Yeah. Um, so it, it wasn't in response to anything except mm-hmm. for the years upon years of um, mistreatment. Mm-hmm. And that song for me, Report to the Mist, kind of feels like the hardest shit that's ever happened in Australian rap music, mm-hmm. ever. It's hard as fuck. <laughs> yeah, it's real hard. Yeah. And we we're, were going to lead with that. And we, we've got a video idea for it, which is equally fucking hard. Yeah. And... Yeah, if you think people are offended by the songs we put out now, this yes. one yeah, is... Wait, wait till we stop having fun. This is, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is the least jovial song on there. This one is straight down the line. Fuck this. Yeah. And yeah, I think as far as the whole record goes, Reports of the Mist is the one that stands out for both of us. Yeah. Always well, has. You know, like, when we were making this record, I really just wanted to start a fire. You know what I mean? I just really wanted to burn some places down. Yeah, yeah this is and the anthem just, to burning shit down. Yeah. Like, because <laughs> like, I, I really wanted to just... And like, it was just like, throw it all into the wind. Like, mm. like this record, for me, when I was making it, was like, fuck it. This was the record I'm going to make. And this mm. is, if this is the last record I ever make, so be it. That's how we treated most of the record. Like, <laughs> yeah. we did. We were like, if this is our last song, how do we want to go out? You yeah. know, and... You know, we've both been making records together and individually for so fucking long. Mm-hmm. We figured something has got to stand as like a legacy yeah, record it's, for it's, us. You it's know, something to be defined by if this is going to be. Yeah, you know, and yeah. this just has never been done before. Definitely not. And like you, 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 you see the responses that have that have um, come off the back of the songs that you've released already. I mean, they've been they've covered like the wide range range of spectrum, I suppose from in terms of what you can want but you you kind of look at how people have been reacting positively to this material and then you look at how people have been reacting to things that have been happening in the news Mm. recently and it's like that correlation between oh this is you know this is fucking sick music it goes hard and then through to shock and anger when you see all of this shit happening to people in the news and it's just like this stuff has been happening for so much longer than people know about fuck yeah and it seems like it's a really interesting time for this music to be coming out now as it's, yeah, it's continuing continuing to um reveal itself I it feel, it, a lot of a lot of the shit that's going on in the news now it's like we we have a song for it and mm. not not purposely we didn't write a song yeah. like this is the song yeah, yeah, for yeah. that it's just that we're addressing the same shit that's been going on yeah. for so fucking long and no one wants to have that conversation, you know, it's easy to wriggle out a lot of the, the yeah. conversations we're trying to have. Yeah. And yeah, it's been it's been strange watching the world unfold and us realizing that, you know, this is we've got a soundtrack to most of the shit. Yeah. <laughs> we seem so relevant. <laughs> on brand. Yeah, we seem yeah like, on brand as we're, fuck. We're so timely. Yeah. <laughs> so timely. But it's it's dealing with like 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 B said, things like police brutality, you yeah. know, black deaths in custody. It doesn't go away. No. You, know, you know what I mean? And it's a conversation that's not going to go away. No. So us talking about it, you know, we could we could do this record in 10 years and we know it's going to be relevant. You yeah. Know? It's, a, it's something we all got to discuss. Yeah. That's the thing, you know, the truth and honesty is always relevant. Yeah, definitely. And I think, you know, also, um, I was talking with somebody about this the other day, but for hip hop in this country in particular, there's always been a really strong young demographic of fan. And now that we're in, we're in an age where the internet is f- 
fucking everything. You've got social media being the dominant form of um, access to new music and just online conversation. For young hip hop fans now, they're probably more impressionable than they've ever been. So to have this music, this sort of music coming out as unapologetic as it is, as fucking hard as it is, you know, it's a way of kind of, you know, grabbing people by the collars and just kind of being like, you know, yeah, wake we want the to fuck shake, up. Yeah. We and want to shake the shit out of it. Learn something. Yeah. What's the shit know? that got us into rap yeah. in the first place? You know, we both fuck with Public Enemy, Ice T, and, and the hardest shit. Yeah. That's what got us in. The, and rap is the perfect genre for us to be tackling this shit on because yeah. of, it comes from such a, you know, uh, not, not angry, but a, I don't know, a place of um, frustration, mm -hmm. you know, and, and it's always delivered well, it's, with... It's, it, it, it was birthed from the disenfranchised, you know Yeah, I mean? Yeah. Well, that's where rap music comes from. It's so DIY. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, kids can bang on the fucking lunchroom table and make raps at school. Yeah. And I think that's what, you know, has always appealed to, um, to myself and also young black kids, you know, who might not have the means to be able yeah. to, you know, they, to make music or whatever, they can still rap. Mm hmm you know, that's the, that's the thing. And so like what, what we're trying to create is that world that we had. Mm -hmm. Like we had the public enemies and we had the grave diggers. We had Ice Cube, Ice T, Snoop. You know, we had everyone. And it's like when we look at what, you know, the scene looks like here, it's like, you know, who do they have? And it's like we trying to create that world you know, and be the artist that we wish we had here. You know what I mean? Like Exactly, yeah. As much as it puts us in the firing line, you know, we want to be there to take that hit yeah. so the next generation makes them easy for them. Because, yeah. like, yeah. rap music used to be hectic. Like, there used to be politicians talking about rappers on TV mm -hmm. saying this music should be banned. Yeah, that's where you the parental I mean? advisory sticker and comes now, from. Yeah, <laughs> you know? And now you yeah. got Hillary Clinton doing a terrible dab. It's fucked. <laughs> <laughs> that was yeah. the moment Briggs stopped. I remember it, I remember <laughs> it clearly. Oh, well, fuck that, man. It's done now. <laughs> yeah, well, the, the, the dab is over. It's done. It it's is done. In the ground. It is in the ground. Yeah, but like you want six months in Australia will be all over it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be what everyone that laneway will be doing yeah. to your set. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. How do you <laughs> But yeah, like, we want to be the guys and the rappers and the artists that we wish we had here. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That, that's the idea. Yeah. Is like creating that kind of world that we didn't have. Because we had Snoop and we had Ice Cube and whatever, whatever, but we didn't have that here yeah I mean, it wasn't accessible you know here. we can take the criticism you know I mean, we, we've been taking it all of our life like mm -hmm. we've been dealing with this shit for a long long time so if it makes it easier for someone like Philly, Nookie or Birdie to yeah. talk that shit yeah that's what because, we're because now like they seem less raging you know Philly and all that like when they come out like <laughs> they, they seem less like they seem way more moderate yeah because we're over here going I'll fucking burn it down <laughs> I'll burn it all fucking down <laughs> They seem tame. Now, yeah. They're, they're, yeah. They're, like, oh, they're the nice ones. Yeah. <laughs> Except Nookie. You fucked that. Nookie's not the nice one. Yeah, Nookie's hectic. <laughs> Nookie's hectic. Nookie's Nookie's hectic. Well, I mean, it's just talk, like leading into the, the, the Bad Apples roster. Mm. That's, I mean, that's a fucking exciting unit that you've built up and moving forward. It's, um, yeah, it's going to be really exciting to see what those three in particular have got coming up. We're planning for a big... A big 2017, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, there's, there's a plan. Yeah. There's a plan. There's a system. And there's a plan. And that's, you know, the idea is to give these dudes the best, you know, head start yeah. possible. Uh, we can't wait to see how it all rolls out. Um, thank you so much for your time, Lance. That's cool. Thank you.